So if you're going to fence competitively in a USFA competition, that holds true in the United States. There are some regulations that differ in Europe and other countries. But uh, for USFA, this is everything you're going to need. First, one mask. The mask has to pass FIE uh, regulations. That means that, uh, well, first of all, the bib has to be sewn in. You can't have a, uh, a, a snap-in bib. And it also has to sustain a certain amount of pressure. I think it's 12 kilograms. Uh, if it doesn't sustain a certain amount of pressure when it's being tested at the competition, it doesn't matter if it actually is uh, FIE. Uh, it still doesn't fly. So it's not a bad idea to have a spare helmet along with you. Uh, next, you need two electric weapons. Uh, I have two FAs here. Uh, if you're fencing foil, obviously you're not going to need two electric foils that are in good working or order. You bring two because, of course, uh, nothing is foolproof, and electric weapons, like everything else, do occasionally fail. Uh, next, two working body cords. For the same reason, bring two with you. Uh, of course, your jacket. Uh, your jacket has no minimum regulations as far as how many newtons it needs to have, but it does have to have uh, a strap at the bottom. That used to be optional. It's not anymore. Uh, you need this handy strap. Um, glove. You need one glove. You might want two gloves. There are gloves that have uh, Velcro cuffs that allow uh, the body cord to pass through, so that's not a bad idea. Uh, again, you want to size your glove properly uh, before, uh, before ordering. Uh, your lame, uh, a lame in good working order that's going to pass a test. You need that for uh, foil. You also need a saber one for a saber. Uh, your plastron, your required extra underarm protection. And also, if you're a woman, uh, you are added chest plate added protection. If you're a man, uh, you need that cup. Not that cup, but the right cup. And uh, other optional equipment is your uh, chest plate for a man. Uh, in addition to these items, you need a pair of pants. Uh, they have to be white. They have to pass the four inch overlap rule. You need a pair of socks. They have to come up uh, to your shin. Uh, they have to come up to your pants. You need a pair of shoes. Uh, you want them to be good and comfortable and to assist you in your athletic endeavors. And uh, I think that might just be enough.